Big, big meeting in Saudi Arabia today as oil hunches talk about the high price of gasoline and oil. The average price today in the United States, get this, $4.07 a gallon, according to AAA, more in some other places. The U.S. and other Western countries blame production shortfalls of the Saudi king today, blasting oil speculators instead. So what do Americans think about the Saudis? Let's chat now with radio talk show hosts Mary Walter and Joe Madison. Good to see you both. Mary, you right, know, we, you. we protected, Mary, the Saudis during the first Gulf War. They thanked us with 15 of the 9-11 hijackers. We've been lately begging them to up their oil output. They have uh, been consistently telling us to take a hike. Maybe they'll do it now. How do your listeners feel about the Saudis? You know, Greg, um, we've been talking about them extensively, obviously, because we're talking about drilling here uh, domestically. And honestly, I don't, from what I hear, is that we don't trust the Saudis. My listeners don't trust the Saudis. They don't trust the people that they elect and send to Washington. And they elected those people. So they're not going to trust politicians from another country. They yeah. don't trust them at all. And they brought the world the lovely Wahhabism. Exactly. Uh, Joe, uh, yeah. they, you know, the Saudis say, hey, it's not our fault. And you know what? Uh, they may be right when they point the finger of blame at speculators, at least in part. Here's what Ben Stein, an economist, revealed <laughs> okay. on our air a few days ago. I want to quote him. He says, I was just in a room with a whole bunch of speculators who were former Enron traders that are now trading natural gas and oil. They're laughing their heads heads off about how much they are manipulating the price of oil they couldn't care less joe maybe the saudis are right well in part they're right but be careful when you point the finger you're not looking in the mirror uh... the bottom line is that oil speculators are getting rich number two i just had a show uh... where i had a lecture with a gentleman by the name of lindsey uh... williams now if he is credible he, is, he said in this lecture that there's enough oil right now in the United States to drive down the price of oil at, or gasoline at $1.65. Yeah. Number two, I agree with the Democrats that we need to, the oil companies need to start drilling where they already have leases as opposed to looking for, for new areas. So the bottom line is, I agree with Mary, and I think my listeners would agree, this is not about yeah. conservative or liberal because we all are hurting at the pump right now, yeah. and people it, don't trust oil executives, well, they don't the Saudis, trust Washington or to solve the problem Washington either. Washington or you know, anybody. And Mary, Nancy Pelosi insists we cannot drill our way out of oil independence. That mm -hmm. doesn't seem to be the opinion shared by a vast majority of Americans. Take a look at these poll numbers. Uh, they just came out yesterday, Fox News Opinion Dynamics polls. Overwhelmingly, Americans want us to drill both in Anwar and offshore. I mean, is that what you're hearing? Uh Absolutely, and this may be one of the few times that we all agree. This is something where I think if you give Americans permission, they would go in the backyard today and drill in their own backyards <laughs> because they are so sick and tired of the politicians doing nothing but arguing. And this started back in the 70s when the oil crisis we had in the 70s. That was the warning shot across the bow, and we have done absolutely nothing. And I, I sense an anger. I don't know if Joe hears it. I hear an anger on the airwaves that people have had enough. They are tired. Joe, is there the anger? Are you hearing that anger, too? Oh, God, yeah. yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. And let me tell you, this argument about, well, we can't find places to build oil refineries. If anyone has ever flown over this country, there is so much vacant land. I know <laughs> well, you can find Anwar is the space. perfect place to drill. There's uh, nobody there. Well, right. and, and, and again, uh, again, I, I, I'm going to tell everyone, go to YouTube, check out Lindsey Williams. Now, right. again, I hope he's credible. I really, and I have to put that caveat sure. in there, but let me tell you, it was an eye-opener to my audience I'm gonna look this him up. Uh, Friday. All Please. right, Joe Madison, Mary Walter, great to see you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Julie?